Greetings world. We are Anonymous Grassroots. Anonymous Grassroots is a website. The website can be broken into two ideas. At one end of the spectrum is Kilominotti, the informatory feature film. At the other end is Anonymous Grassroots, which serves as an academically driven think tank. Five years ago, the website's founder, Ilias Roots, set out on an ambitious plan with the goal of creating the conspiracy documentary to end all conspiracy documentaries. He wanted to create the authoritarian work on the subject. As he went along, myth turned into fact and the movie got longer and longer. At first, he spent 8 months working on the project alone, eventually releasing the first version of the film at the 7 hour mark and received less than emphatic results. Six months later, he shaved off four hours of the film and published the second version, a four hour long techno driven conspiracy theorist wet dream. The response this time was only slightly better, acknowledging that he underestimated the level of effort and time required for a full length feature. He waited for the inspiration to continue working on the project again. Finally, in the fall of 2019, Kilominotti, the informatory feature, version 3.0 is freely streaming on the World Wide Web. The small team of Anons who created the film, dedicated all of their spare time over the last few years to make this movie available for free. It is published under an open source media license and is for educational purposes only. Roots made this film for one reason, to share what he has discovered with the world. He believes if you were to have discovered what he has, you would agree that the sheer incredibleness of the discovery mandates dedication to the world. We believe this movie is worth viewing, worth sharing, and worth the tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars in lost revenue we gave up to bring it to you. This is why we label ourselves as grassroots. We have no advertising or marketing budget. It takes your sharing this information because no one is going to help us but ourselves. We only hold the belief that you will share our view that this information will change your life. Up until now, making the movie has been our primary focus. With its completion, we are turning towards popularizing the film. The sooner the film takes off is the sooner we can implement that which we do best. As of yet, Anonymous Grassroots has not been able to engage in our specialization which is using statistical analysis to construct academic articles. These articles will contain economic arguments that suggest government policy implementations. Each article will be peer-reviewed by members of our collective. As the articles are published on our website, we will also publish an anonymous style video focusing on its contents. In addition to the video, we will release a human-hosted podcast discussing the details of each article. A subsequent byproduct born from these papers is that they can be used to provide the foundations for a new political party. What we are currently calling it is, the New Federalist Party. Since these articles are written at the graduate level, they are very time consuming and therefore, costly. We will not be able to engage in this sort of academia until merchandise sales provides a steady stream of income to fund their completion. There is a stigma surrounding conspiracism. Folks seem to miss the facts embedded within the abstract. Some conspiracists are so far-fetched they've turned off the general public to the reality that validity is involved. As surprising as it may seem, our work is based on the principles of empiricism. It is our goal to turn conspiracy theory into conspiracy fact by focusing on that which is objectively verifiable. For example, when you arrive at the site, you'll notice the date on the news feed displays the current year as 6019. This may strike you as odd, yet if we approach the matter empirically, we will come to a far different conclusion. In this excerpt from the informatory, we see that they have the year here, marked as 6018. From the movie, we discovered, the group holding this private ceremony, is really a secret society known as the Freemasons. Further, we know that they keep secrets and are established by members of communities in most towns of the United States and across the world. Thus, we can at least ponder the possibility that in reality, it may actually be the year 6020. What I mean is, what if it really is the year 6019? And, nobody, told, you, 
After all, this group uses this dating system on all of its materials. Obviously, they fully believe it's the year 6000 and something. Similarly, the Jewish dating system has the year placed in the same time frame, around the year 5800. Still others, like the 1 billion Christians on earth, believe there is a 7000 year plan of God. This system has the year 2000 marking the beginning of the 7th millennium. According to Christian doctrine, this time frame is defined as the millennial age, a period marked by the appearance of the Messiah who will rule the earth for a thousand years. Now, let's examine our current worldview. Our country's legal system defines the date for us. It tells us it is the year 2019. But what if, our country, is telling us a fake year? while keeping among themselves a totally different year. If we take into account only these three points, we see that the most widespread and historically powerful secret society in the world, says the year 2000 was really the year 6000. Additionally, 1 billion Christians believe the same thing, even going so far as labeling themselves the last generation. With 2 out of 3 in agreement, we at Anonymous Grassroots have adopted the year as 6020. While it's true that we believe this due to historically valid arguments, the question that begs to be asked is, what if there was a way to prove it? Like, what if there was a way to prove what year it is? At Anonymous Grassroots, we believe just that, and, provided your support, we can prove it. When you arrive at the site, access the tab entitled, The Film. Clicking on it will open the Kaliuminauti page. Simply click on the image to stream the film. The movie starts off with a let's play of the original Fallout. By watching the game, it actually ends up revealing the anonymous hacker collective's origins while making a complete mockery of Scientology and their Hollywood celebrities. This story is so comical, you'll never get over it. The video then goes on to expose what Scientology truly is through introducing documents leaked to Wikileaks in 2008, then it pairs them with elements from the game itself. It then goes into a 20 minute discussion with the president of the post-apocalyptic United States in order to develop the idea that governments may not be as trustworthy as they claim. Eventually, at the hour and a half mark, the let's play ends and the infomentary begins. It links Scientology directly to the occult by introducing an interview with L. Ron Hubbard's son. After this the movie goes on a History Channel level tirade over the symbology on the dollar bill. This is preceded by giving a rundown on just what Freemasonry is by using sources to explain Solomon's Temple, the legend of Hiram Abiff, and to show why the pyramid is actually on the dollar bill. Then Roots challenges other conspiracy theorists to actually learn how to use the square and compass. What happens next is a series of actual mathematical proofs to include a geometric proof for solving pi, and a mathematical proof for calculating phi geometrically. Roots then ties Freemasons into the cult of the Pythagoreans by deciphering De Vinci's Vitruvian Man and offering it as proof. After spending some time developing Freudian psychoanalytic theories, Roots goes on to explain why people only possess the creative capacity to draw a penis. Then he demonstrates just how mass hypnosis has been placed on the population at large. Finally, Roots explains the secret mysteries of the Bible, including exactly what 666 is, just who is Jesus, how do we love our enemies, and what is God doing? The content of this documentary is so phenomenal. To continue any more would spoil it. You want to watch this documentary with as many of your friends and family as possible, immediately. This is the movement we've all been waiting for. You and I both want an authentic organic movement without cheap external ads. In order to have this, you have to pay for it. We make all of our ads in-house, and we make our only income through merchandise sales. Our store is maintained by our artist, Disobey, at his website, disobeyart.com. The reality is, third-party advertisements can provide the income necessary to support staff and pay for hosting. These are the two things that enable people to do what they believe in. Yet, these factors can cause people to curtail their website's content and limit their agendas. We wish to avoid this. Our clothes are designed by Disobey and many of them will probably graffiti at some point. Without your support through merchandise purchases, we would be left to our own funding. 
This would probably result in a slower paced release of content. We predict this will limit our ability to be effective. We are currently using a third party drop shipment checkout system. We are doing this because we want people to have clothing they actually like. As well as, we understand people may be hesitant to give their information to a hacker community. Adding this third party checkout system provides security to concerned parties. On behalf of myself, I would like to thank you for your purchase. On the website's menu bar, we are going to find a tab titled, The Op. When we open that page we see a bunch of pictures of vehicles with medallions affiliated with the Freemason Secret Society. One of our goals is to collect as many of these pictures as possible. If you spot a vehicle with a Masonic emblem on it, simply snap a photo and anonymously upload it to imga.com. Then email the link to kiliamanorti at anongrassroots.com. The purpose of this page is to open the eyes of our fellow humans to the reality that this conspiracy is real, while also trolling our target. Our inspiration stems from The Simpsons. Season 6, Episode 12 titled, Homer the Great. The episode starts out with Homer, venting frustration while stuck in a traffic jam. When he arrives at work he is forced to park in the back of the parking lot. Walking up to the factory, he notices his buddies have reserved parking in the front row. At his workstation he sits down only to have his chair break right out from under him. Upon inspection, he realizes it is the lowest end stool on the market. Setting out to find a new stool, Homer finds his co-workers sitting comfortably in high-tech chairs that provide back massages. When he asks them about it, they shush each other and tell him it's a secret. In the next scene, Homer is at the break room paying for his soda from the vending machine. Whereas his co-workers had used a special ring to access a button he'd never noticed. Frustrated, Homer sets out to uncover their secret. Using paint, he follows them to their club. While spying on them he is found out and thrown out. Desperately wanting to become a member, he asks his co-workers how he can get in on the action. They inform him there are only two ways to join the club. Going home to dinner that night, Homer discovers that his father happens to be a member of the Stonecutters Club, thus qualifying him for membership. After going through initiation ceremonies that include, running the gauntlet getting pummeled with paddles on the rear end, Homer then gains full access to perks. Instead of having to wait, he immediately gets his leaky pipe fixed since he now knows the secret handshake. Instead of waiting in traffic during his morning commute, he now has access to a secret passage that bypasses all the traffic. At work, his old stool has been replaced with an ergonomic massage chair. Next, his buddies give him a medallion for his car so he won't get pulled over, as well as, the real number 4911. At home, Homer ridicules Luce's normal public education system knowledge, and boasts about the Stonecutter's book called, Secret World History, wherein founding father Benjamin Franklin is a crazy beer drinking, Stonecutter, back at the lodge, it's all beer drinking and sing song about being the masters of the world and controlling everything. How can you help in the operation? Simple. On the site you are going to see the tab titled, chat. On the chat page, you will see an internet relay chat plugin. Go ahead and make up a clever username then click, connect. From here you will be redirected to op new blood, this chat room is for noobs to get their feet wet. Once you have spent 5 minutes mastering the topics found in op new blood, namely, setting up a client and registering your nick, then, and only then, can you join in on the fun happening in Hashop Kaliamanorti?